Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another scent box versus scent bird showdown. And I cannot wait to show you guys what I got this month. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before I get started, I just want to highlight some makeup that I've used today in case you are wondering. You usually don't see me in this super colorful look. You might see me do one like once or twice a year. And I love how it turned out. I was getting inspiration from my tie-dye little spring sweater. I think I did good. Um, I just had fun with makeup today. And, and then I realized I have like two meetings and a teacher conference <laughs> and also I need to go to Kohl's because I can't fit into any pants <laughs> but speaking of pants I am on a workout journey if you haven't seen my Ellie active wear subscription box unboxing definitely check it out I'll put it here or in the cards it's a new box here on my channel and they have a lot of exercise lounge wear active wear outfits that all match which i love and they have the best styles there so if you want to see what i got that month definitely check it out so for my eyes today this very colorful look is courtesy of kaja this super bright pink um eyeshadow right here then the purples and blues are from my morphe palette right here and i got the blue and the purple on my eyes today. So the yellow um, eyeshadow also came from here. It's the very top of my crease, like right above it. And then I knew Pat McGrath was gonna come through <laughs> with her shimmers. And so I did this gold, this really yellow gold in my inner corners. And then I just kind of mixed all the different shades of purple, um, I think that one right there. That's what I have today. By the way, thank you, Leslie Linlin Beauty. I won her giveaway not too recently. This Maddie Ziegler palette uh, by Morphe is amazing. Okay, back to why you guys are here. Scent Bird versus Scent Box Showdown. I do this, I want to say, every other month here on my channel because I love perfumes. But before I begin, I wanna just thank all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for your trust and support because I have gotten so many, so many referrals from all of you guys. Whenever you use my referral code, either from Scentbox or Scentbird, I do get a brand new atomizer or perfume and look what I've collected. <laughs> I am just so thankful for you guys. I hope you are enjoying your scent box or scent bird subscriptions. I have smelled so many scents, so many different designer fragrances that I'm starting to be more aware of the different scents and the different subtleties within the scents. And I'm starting to get to know more brands. This is also a giveaway, guys. This is March, my birthday month. Stay tuned for a future video and it's gonna be about what's gonna be in my birthday giveaway. So definitely check that out. Okay, Scentbird versus Scentbox. Basically, they offer authentic designer perfumes. It's a monthly subscription. It's $14.95, which gets you eight ml or 30 day supply of the perfume of your choice. If you are a perfume lover, you love all types of scents, this is a good one for you. Or if you wanna try different scents so that you can decide on what full size fragrance you wanna get, then this is a good subscription box for you too. I will have my referral code in the description box as well as in the chat in case you wanna sign up. Basically, if you sign up for Scentbird, it's going to give you 35% off your first month. So that's gonna be instead of $14.95 a month, it is going to be $9.72 for your first month. So not bad. And for Scentbird, um, my discount code will get you $11.21 for your first month. So that's a discount of less than 30%. So it's definitely a good deal. And I love putting Scentbox and Scentbird head to head with each other because I love to see which company carries like the most 
selection of perfumes. They both offer around 500 different fragrances to choose from. Um, and they also have like kind of their premium subscription where you pay $19.95 a month and that opens up your selection to over 700 fragrances. If you want to know the comparison between Scentbird and Scentbox, I've broken it down for you on one of my videos right here. Definitely check it out. I tell you the pros and cons with subscribing to both companies and my personal choice. I do want to say that they do have the same price range, but Scentbox gives you a atomizer, which is this case right here that contains the fragrance basically you get a new atomizer each month and the color that they give you is usually like related to that month so like this month i'll show you but i got something pink i think you already saw it right last december i think we got red because it's christmas and then january i think we got either gold or neon green Sandbird, however i only have one atomizer but i gifted myself since it's my birthday month right i gifted myself one more atomizer that's yellow like neon bright yellow and so i'm excited to get that in the mail um but basically Sandbird doesn't give you an atomizer each month you get kind of like this cardboard cylinder case which contains the vial of perfumes so that's the main difference that i found so i feel like you have a better deal when it comes to scent box however one of my subscribers did bring up that there's gonna be more waste you know what i mean so it's not as good for the environment that's something that you could consider when you're trying to subscribe to both boxes so let's go ahead and just compare the scents because this is what we're here for by the way scent box or scent bird you don't have to subscribe every month you can pause it month to month which i've been doing and so both subscription companies have that option to pause your subscription in case you need to in case you have too many Let's just start with scentbox right scentbox is so beautiful this month it has like these two little heart shape on their bottle it's pink and i think um some people also got kind of like the let me see if I have it here. I believe you also get kind of like this really metallic pink and it's just as good. I noticed that they have kind of like two kinds of cases. This one feels really well made, like everything feels tight. You know your perfume isn't gonna fall off, um, but this one I feel is more flimsy like there, see? Did you guys see that? So this one, I just know, like, I just know it feels tight, it feels heavier, it feels more luxe. So I'm not sure why they have the two different kinds of cases. They have different designs, but the point is the quality. But this is what I got this month. It's a little bit more flimsy. I'm definitely going to reach out to Scentbox about that because I don't like my perfume bottle coming out of its atomizer by the way just a disclaimer scentbox and scent birds are not in any way associated with the brands of the perfume they don't have a contract or agreement that tells them you can bottle the perfume so they are separate independent companies from the perfumes that they sell so that's one thing to consider i have some bottles of perfume and i've compared it with the ones i have in scentbox or scentbird and they have stayed true to the scent and everything that's just a disclaimer especially when i'm recommending these things for you always do your research take my opinion with a grain of salt you decide i'm just giving you options basically vince kamuto this is like a limited edition perfume oh it's inspired by passion and romance be the woman you want to be this sweet and exciting fragrance open notes are sweet and juicy fruity notes of passion fruit bergamot frozen clementines with currant buds combined with natural scents of freshly picked flowers of freesia orchid lotus wild lily and floral fruity blend is based on comfortable cashmere sensual crystal amber musk and sandalwood leaving a warm creamy trail on the skin so my perfume bottle came in this nice golden envelope it has scent box um it came in this box right here so it was safely packed 
and then inside you also get the scent of the month so this month i requested the scent of the month because i didn't want to pick i wanted to be surprised because i chose the scent of the month they have all the explanation basically this little card tells you what the scent is all about i love floral scents a lot but i love it when they throw a little bit of musk so let's see I wish there was smell -o vision here, right? And I'm going to try it on the card first. <clears throat> first, it hits you like that fresh floral scent. And then it's just a very subtle, fresh scent. There's a little bit of sweetness, but more like fresh, like citrusy. I really like this. But let's see what I got from Scentbird. Scentbird sent me the Salvatore Ferragamo Encanto Bloom. I got the Ferragamo last month too. Um, I was so impressed with, with the Salvatore Ferragamo Encanto Charms. That was so good that I thought I would try more of the Ferragamo perfume line. And so that's why I chose this. I'm going to switch it up real quick. That way we can use it. Can you spray it without the atomizer? I think so. Yeah, you can. It's just a regular spray bottle. But I'll put it in here so it looks nice. <laughs> now what I like about Scentbird is that they have the actual card and it has the whole story about the perfume that you chose or that they're sending you. So I love that because sometimes I forget what I ordered. So they come in this black packaging right like this. It says Scentbird. And then they come in this cylinder cardboard casing. And you don't get a new atomizer each month. For me, I like getting different colors each month. I feel like it's just more fun, but that's personal preference basically you have the card about the perfume and this is what the perfume bottle looks like oh i just want to buy the bottle it's a heady rush of tea roses and grapefruit flowers followed by plush powdery heart of sweet freesia exotic champaca smooth musk sleek cashmere wood shine what the heck is champaca <laughs> I think this is gonna be like a fresh citrusy scent. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it on the card. Ooh, I'm gonna spray it on my hand, my hand too. Sometimes the scent really evolves and transforms depending on your own body chemistry. So I'm gonna put it on here, and I'm, then I'm gonna spray this one on my left. Okay, that's odd. The scent kind of disappeared from the Ferragamo one. Let me try it again. Like, I love the scent. It's definitely fresh. So, it's not as floral as I'd like it to be. But this is more like a beachy scent. Like, outdoors. I'm going to let the scents kind of linger on my skin for a little bit before I make a decision on what perfume i prefer i just wanted to men quickly mention my giveaway so this is my birthday month and i am going to have a giveaway i'm going to open it up to us and canada subscribers so my giveaway this month is gonna be five so you'll get one two three four and five five bottles of the scent box perfume of your choice i have quite a few to choose from and i've actually gotten those choices from all of you guys whenever you commented on my previous videos i'll put it up here whenever you commented like what your favorite scent is i would jot it down because i want to try it too if i haven't tried it already and if you have any men's fragrance recommendations to put it down so that is just part of the giveaway i'll be announcing more about this birthday giveaway on my channel i think i'm gonna do a separate video just so that this video isn't too long so definitely check it out and i'm planning to announce the winner on instagram as well so make sure that you follow me on instagram okay let me s smell yeah okay so the winner for this month is scentbox 
So I prefer this Vince Camuto Amore more. I usually don't gravitate towards sweet scents, but this one is sweet and floral and it's just a perfect balance. And I feel like it stayed on my skin so much longer. Like this one I had to spray twice and I was wondering why the scent kind of disappeared. This one almost kind of feels like it could be a cologne too. So it has a stronger musky scent, I feel like, but definitely it's fresh. That grapefruit scent definitely comes through. There's definitely some spiciness to it. So this is not my favorite, the Ferragamo Encanto Bloom. So now I smell like two different perfumes. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to enter my giveaway. I mean five perfume bottles and that's just the start. There's going to be more about this same giveaway. So also in this video, I would love to give an honorable mention to Lux SB. Now I am not subscribed to Lux SB, but last year they asked me if I could be on their PR list in exchange for like a small feature in a video or on Instagram. I just want to say thank you so much to Lux SB for trusting me. I've never been approached by a brand before and so I'm so thankful and grateful for this opportunity to be a part of their PR list. If you haven't heard of Lux SB, they're a perfume company just like Scentbird and Scentbox. But there's a major difference between the two in that they offer 9 ml perfume bottles. So if you were to compare this, like they're a little bit taller. See that? I'll also link Lux SB in the description below. I got Juliet Has a Gun. And I heard one of my friends said they love this scent. They sent me three perfume bottles, guys. Oh, I love this one. This is like greenish gold. And they sent me Dolce & Gabbana Dolce Garden. And then the third one is a gold one. You know, with Lux SB, their packaging are more like metallic. Like you can see yourself on the packaging. <laughs> with Scentbird and Scentbox, they have some metallic cases too, but they're more on the matte side. So everyone has their own thing, right? Everyone's different, which I like because I love variety. And this one they sent me, Mason Sibirate, Sibirate? Sibirate? Paris Bed of Roses. Oh my gosh, look at this. Have you seen a perfume bottle that's white? Like the contents are white. I did smell all three of them. I wanna say my favorite is the Dolce & Gabbana one, Garden. Thank you so, so much to Lux SB for your generosity and for trusting me. I do have a video explaining what Lux SB is all about. So I'm gonna put it up here in case you wanna know the pricing, what you get for that price, how does the monthly subscription works. I talk about it all in this video. So definitely check them out on Instagram or on their website. So that is it guys. <laughs> it's been a long video. So don't forget to check out a future video about my birthday giveaway. So definitely be on the lookout for that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews, as well as some unboxings here and there. So definitely check it out. Join the family. And with that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye.